What's up, you guys? Domicon here, bringing you my perspective as to what entertainment is bringing us. And today, we'll be talking about TMNT, the first animated Ninja Turtles film. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are continuing the Ninja Turtles streak. This film was released on March 23rd, 2007. It has received unfavorable reviews. While critics were praising the animation style, the negative feedback comes from the storyline, the screenplay, and the movie being absolutely serious to a fault. It was pretty successful at the box office, grossing over $95 million over a $35 million budget. The film stars Chris Evans, Sarah Michelle Gellar, Patrick Stewart, Z Zane, and Kevin Smith. The film was directed by Kevin Monroe. The film is about the immortal god Yaudo, who opened a portal into a parallel universe that grants him immortality. The problem is that it came with a curse, and that the portal petrified his comrades and turned them into stone. And thanks to that, he has to live and suffer for his action that he that he did centuries ago. He also released 13 monsters. We now move on to the present, where the Turtles have defeated the Shredder for a while, and because of that, they have gone their separate ways. The film is, uh, alright. The animation is great. I really like the art style they were getting at. You could tell they were inspired by the original comics in the 2003 series, which was the Ninja Turtles series at the time. And I do appreciate the darker tone this movie went. The problem is that this movie feels rushed. The, this movie is less than 100 minutes, and I feel that's a detriment since I feel it doesn't give any characters enough development or enough of an arc for us to believe to believe them. Especially since there, were, there are so many characters in this film. We got the... We got Yaudo, the... And his... Uh, we got the Turtles, obviously. Uh, we got April, Casey, and, Kar and Karai and the Foot Ninja are there, and... They, there was just so many things. There was just so many things. There's so many characters, and it just there's there's so much to pull from in like less than a hundred minutes. It's just it's kind of a mess. I feel like this film was made for huge fans of the turtles, which which is which is me, and I do appreciate that. But for someone who's trying to get into the franchise, this film is a horrible start because a lot of the characters' main tra traits don't show up. Like Donnie, for example, they didn't utilize his intelligence, and Mikey was was Mikey was made to be stupid to be stupid. <laughs> and man, oh man, Leonardo was got, got done absolutely dirty. And Leonardo has always been my favorite turtle, and I did not care for him in this movie. Dude was an absolute douche. And the worst part is that movie. The movie was treating Rafa like he was a he was in the wrong whenever they argue in this film. But I was siding with Raph. Also, the fight scene between them, that was the best best part of the movie. Bar none. Animation, choreography, music, everything in this scene in particular is done to perfection. One thing I'll give this movie praise for is that the Turtles are voiced by actual voice actors. Donnie is voiced by Mitchell Whitfield. Michelangelo was voiced by Mikey Kelly. Leo was voiced by James Arnold Taylor, and Raph was voiced by Nolan North, who was unknown at the time. Yeah, their voices really fit the characters, especially Nolan North. I had to give major props to him. He was great as Raph. Well, overall, it, I, this movie is this movie's fine. It's just fine. Um... I, I, I may have bias towards animated movies, but like, the 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 fur I don't think it touch it. This is the the first live action Ninja Turtles movie is so much better. Like that 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 film is a fuck. That film is a masterpiece to me. It's one of my favorite films of all time. Like the reason why I say that is because um, the first film was trying to cater towards the original the original comic storyline, which and it was. Yeah, yeah, there were some goof, there were some goofy moves, but it was mostly, it went, it was mostly very serious, which I really love, and it's done so well. I, I also preferred, like, uh, the second Michael Bay Ninja Turtles film, Out of the Shadows, because, uh, yeah, there were a lot of characters, but, like, 
it had a long it had a longer runtime. It would and it gave and it gave these characters uh, uh it would gave gave time to these char- characters a little more back, which I appreciate. But uh but yeah, um it yeah, Tia, this animated Ninja Turtles film, it's alright. Uh Mew Mayhem is looking Mew Mayhem is looking hyped though. I'm I'm pretty I am sure that this I'm it's looking like to be uh better than better than the two thousand and seven film, that's for sure. This is uh God. I'm so excited for that film. But anyways, the for for those of you do you guys like my review of the 2007 Ninja Turtles film? Yes? No? Let me know in the comments down below. And do you like this film? Yes or no? Also let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And make sure you follow my Instagram, Backlog, and Letterbox down in the description down below. You can also join my Discord server if you want to, also in the description down below. This is Namicon, and I'll see you next time.